And that is why he said, when you hear his voice today, not yesterday, not tomorrow, when you hear his voice today. So if you want a better tomorrow, you have to start involving your today with something great. A week of neglect could cost you a year of repair. Many people are suffering today because they neglected just one hour of yesterday. Many people are in total mess today because they neglected just 30 seconds of yesterday. And so today, what are you doing? I seek not to be common. I seek to be extraordinary. And that is why I like Kofi Teria. The late Kofi Teria, may he so rest in perfect peace. This man, I met him at Bible camp last year. And he was telling me, Bernard, listen. The first day I saw you at Adadien Tim Presek. And you were part of the contestants of the Bible quiz. I realized something in you that, yes, you could, you could do great. But you were rushing. And so take your time. Yeah, I said, okay. And then he said, listen, I started like you. And today, I stand here to speak. When Kofiteria died, on the platform of the GBC alumni, they said that they were making a contribution to give to their wife. At that time, a preacher had also died. On the platform, as they were making the contribution, one preacher suggested that, oh, what about the other preacher? Nobody responded. <laughs> Listen, the legacy Kofiteria has, has left behind. I just want to be like Kofiteria. Amen. That when I am gone, the legacy that I leave behind will speak for me and it will speak for my family. Nobody knew that preacher. Yes, we are all preachers. What stands you out? What unique ability? What special ability are you bringing out? What different thing? It's about you being different in a unique style. God has given you something for the world to see that you are special and you are carrying a gift of God. And the gift of God must be seen. The gift of God must not be in you. It must be realized by the world. So that we all will give glory 